guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to do something that I have not done on my channel and I am quite shocked about. I am going to do a full face using Chanel only products. I can't believe I haven't done this on my channel before, but I haven't. So that's today's video. So before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. So let's go ahead and dive into the look. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face using the Chanel Le Blanc. This is a illuminating primer, so it just gives your skin that nice radiant glow. I'm going to go ahead and place this all over my face. It does look white at first, but it does just blend into the skin and kind of just gives you that nice luminous glow. I think it's also supposed to be good to help reduce the appearance of pores, if I'm not mistaken. I can't believe I haven't done this before. I've obviously done a lot of Chanel makeup videos and tutorials, but I can't believe I've never done just like a full face of only Chanel products. Now for the eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and use the Stilo Sulci Waterproof in number 810 uh, Brun Profond, which is just a dark brown. I think someone was asking in an earlier video why I fill in my eyebrows before foundation. I just find that I get more clean eyebrows, if that makes any sense. I feel like if I put on my foundation first, then I often end up putting foundation in my eyebrows and you can kind of brush it off with a spoolie. But I don't know, I just prefer to go and do my eyebrows first. And I'm gonna go over top with Le Gel Le Sourcil. This is just like kind of a mascara, but it has pigment. Um, this is what it looks like here. Let me just show you. So it's like a tiny mascara wand with some dark pigment. And I think there's like three or four shades. So I like to go over top of the pencil. I just find that that kind of just locks them in place. And I think if you wanted like a more natural look, you could just go ahead and just use just this and not use the brow pencil if you wanted to. Okay, so now moving on to eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. Um, I'm using something quite old from Chanel. I'm not sure if they still make this. This is the Base Ombre Paupière. It's just like the professional eyeshadow base. It is this one here. I believe they've come out with different ones since then. But this one here has a spout up here. And then on the bottom, you twist to get some product out. I think they still make this, but this is like old school. So actually, I think there's too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some on the back of my hand here. And then just prime my eyelids. I think like Chanel came out with those concealer correctors, you know, like the different colored ones, the different color con concealers. And I think a lot of... Like when I've had my makeup done, I feel like they often just use those concealers now. Are you guys looking forward to the Le Beige collection this year? The summer, I don't know if it's the summer collection, I guess it is. It's like the Le Beige collection. I saw some new beige eyeshadow palettes and they look this big. Like this is the spring summer palette, like this nine shadow palette. I saw, I think it's like one or two in the beige collection. That are this size. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my new Chanel Spring 2019 palette. This is this lovely nine shadow palette here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this top one up here, this nice um, neutral transition shade. And I'm gonna use a big blending brush and just sweep this into the crease here. Now using a tapered brush, I'm gonna go into this champagne color in the center and I'm going to pack a lot of color on this brush and I'm just going to place this on the mobile lid. Now going into this dark brown shade and using a tapered blending brush, I am just placing that in the outer corner and just keeping that dark color on the outside. So after that, I went ahead and used a separate blending brush and just kind of helped blend that whole area out. So as you can see, I keep going back and forth between um, adding a bit more dark color and then blending it out. And then I also, at the end, went in with a big fluffy brush from before and just made sure that everything was just like nice and blended. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Chanel Stilo Zure. This is the waterproof liner. This is in Noir Intense. So it just comes in this pen-like shape here. And these come in like 
I don't know how many dozens of colors. They do discontinue them very often though. That always sucks when you, you get a color that you love and then they discontinue it. But I'm going with number 88, which is just like a dark black. I'm gonna go ahead and do a thin line on top. I also went ahead and tight lined with the same liner. So that's when you go ahead and you put um, liner on the top waterline. Now moving on to foundation. I'm going to go in with my new favorite of the moment. This is the Chanel Ultra Le Teint. If you guys want to see a full foundation and wear test, I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and apply it with a sponge. What other new releases are you guys excited to see this year? Like in the spring, in the summer? I saw that Anastasia Beverly Hills has a new palette out. I think it's called like the Riviera one. And the colors were really pretty. And I came very close to buying it online yesterday. But then I realized that shipping to Canada is $25. The palette itself is like $45. And the palette is like, like it's insane. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? I mean, I'm shipping it to Canada, not to Jupiter. I don't understand because like, if you live in like upstate New York, you wouldn't get charged $25. But if you live in Montreal, you would. And I know it's like international technically, but anyway, it's just frustrating. Okay, so now let's move on to concealer. So I picked up here the Palette Essentielle. This is a number 160 medium beige. This is this one here. So this has the concealer, highlighter, and blush. Now I'm still undecided about what I like how I feel about this. I don't know. So I could do a review if you guys want, but I'm not exactly sure at this moment what I think, because I think some of you guys are curious as to how it compares with other ones, like other concealers, other textures, but I'm not sure at this moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the concealer right now just to cover up. Okay, so for the bronzer, I'm gonna go into Les Beige. This is like one of the original ones. This is in shade number 50 here. I think I wanna pick up a new Les Beige compact soon. I saw some photos online of new ones. So as you can see, this has been very well loved. I think, you know, it's time to get a new one. I just realized the only thing that I don't have would be um, setting spray because I think like Chanel does like the Hydra Beauty mist and I think there's also the Sublimage mist. That must be so crazy expensive. I'm sure it's nice though. Um, so yeah, I don't have a setting spray. Oh well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the blush. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. And it looks really dark, but it actually like doesn't blend, like it doesn't look that dark when you wear it. So I find that the best way to do cream blush is to go in with like one finger and then I just tap it out with a brush here. Now using a small tapered brush, I just went ahead and dipped back into the dark brown shade from before and I just traced this under the bottom lash line. Okay, now time for some highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and use the highlighter from this compact here. You know what I need to do now? Mascara. I was like, something isn't working with my eyes. I wonder what. Mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Chanel Volume Revolution and I'm gonna go in and put on lots and lots of mascara. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme number 114 Epitome. This, I love this. It's like the Velvet Extreme, so even the packaging looks velvet. Um, this is... Sorry, this is the regular Rouge Allure Velvet. So I just love that this looks more matte, I don't know. I'm a sucker for like these little details. So Epidome is just like this really pretty raspberry berry shade. I love it. So that is Epidome. As you can see, it's a really pretty color and I feel like this shade <laughs> makes my teeth look so white. So there you guys go. This is my look using Chanel only products, full face using only Chanel. I can't believe I haven't done this yet. I'm honestly surprised that I haven't done this look before. This, you know, seems like the type of thing that I would do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys got some fun tips and ideas. Let me know if you spotted any favorites in today's video. And yeah, please feel free to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.